Hello and welcome back once again for another episode of Dan Does Cars, another episode in the series of the DRZ400 rebuild. Uh, I thought, what else better to do than to watch somebody put their bike back together while stuck in isolation as the whole country is now on lockdown. Um, so what the plan is today, I'm going to get this cover back on, and also put the water pump cover back on as well. Um, oil filter housing cap is going to stay off because I have ordered a new oil filter. And I also thought today might be the day that we get the frame unpackaged get front yokes on and start putting that back together as well. So I'm going to make a start putting this cover on and we'll go from there. So that's the two casings back on, water pump cover and also the engine side casing. So now I'm going to get the frame on the bench, uh, get the wrapping off it and get started putting the front yokes on. Jesus, that's heavy. So finally getting this frame out of the packaging. Uh, it's a moment I've been waiting for for quite a while and I can't wait. I really can't wait to get this thing unpackaged. So. Let's get on with it. Here it is, the unwrapped frame. And um, this video really is not going to do this thing justice. This thing looks brand new, fresh out of the box. Um, so I've got a couple of little blank and place to take off uh, on the front here so I can get the front yokes back in and start building this thing back up. So what I need to do now, little caps on either end, I need to knock them out. Really sure what that is, but oh, oh it stinks. That that stinks. So we've got the front yokes here. Uh, I did spend quite a bit of time getting these cleaned up. These are about ready to go on. So we'll get all the bearings greased up and get this back together. Now that I've got the front yokes on, um, otherwise known as triple clamps, now that these are on, I think I'm going to get the front forks brought over, get them slid through, um, get them tightened up so I can get the thing back on the centre stand and work on that as I go. Progress on the engine. As you can see, we've got the casings back on there with some new bolts in. Got the cam cover and everything back on as well. I think what I'm going to do, um, I've ordered some case savers. I know they were a pain in the arse to get off uh, so I could paint it, but I thought it best to put some on because motocross boots are just going to rip that off straight away. Um, I'll show you a bit of the frame. The video really isn't going to do this justice, but it's so clean, it's brand new. We've got the front end back on the frame there. Um, can't really do much with the back end because the bolt that goes between here and here goes through the back of the engine. Um, that bolt was seized in, so it had to be cut out. So I order a new one. But what I'm thinking is I might be able to get the engine back in the frame shortly, um, and then I can start making some progress on that. 
So I'm going to leave this video here. I think in the next one we'll get the radiators mounted up um, and we'll get the oil pipes back on the frame ready for the engine going back in. Um, I'll give the frame a good wash out as well inside where the oil tank is just to make sure that doesn't get contaminated. But I think that's some good progress made today as we're starting to get the bike um, back in shape really. So I'm going to end this video here. Thanks very much for watching. Hopefully in the next episode we'll get a good bit more progress on the frame. Uh, but for now I'm going to leave that. And thank you very much for watching. Thanks for all the support I've been getting. It's been brilliant. Um, also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Also, comment if you fancy. Um, and I shall see you in the next episode.